And I can sense it I can sense it Something's changing The glory of the Lord is in this place I can sense it I can sense it Something's changing The glory of the Lord I can sense it And I can sense it I can sense it Something's changing I've been searching And I've been searching For the location The place where God Has fixed my situation There is no pain Or sickness there I feel my healing I'm finally here Come on and sing it with me I can sense it And I can sense it Come on, worship him this morning I can sense it Something's changing The glory of the Lord is in this place And I can sense it I can sense it Something's changing I can sense it this morning I can sense it Can you sense the presence of God this morning? Come on and lift your hands to heaven and help me worship Him Say, God, make me your example God, make me your example Make me a miracle Make me a miracle And I'll be the miracle God, make me your example Show us a miracle Show us a miracle And I'll be the miracle God, make me your example Make me a miracle Make me a miracle And I'll be the miracle God, make me your example Show us a miracle Show us a miracle I'll be the miracle I am not, and I am not the same Cause I've been changed in your glory Sing it with me church And I am not the same Has he changed your life? Has the presence of God changed your life? Has the anointing of the Holy Spirit and the resurrected Christ has it changed your life can someone type below this video I'm not the same I've been changed I've been changed I've been changed sing it with me I am not the same and I am not the same cause I've been changed in your glory I am not the same I've been changed in your glory I am not the same I am not the same Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ on this morning, may and Pastor Amy join our faith with your wonderful people. Let the presence of God saturate their lives, their minds, their spirits, their home, their atmosphere. Let the presence of God, the anointing of the Holy Ghost, invade their atmosphere. Give them peace. Give them comfort. Give them joy. Give them breakthrough. Give them a miracle. Answer their prayer. Give them that confidence, that hope, that faith that they need to get through the situation that's before them. In the name of Jesus, this is our prayer. Not our will, but let your will be done. In Jesus' name we pray.
Somebody say amen. Oh, glory to God. Can you feel his presence on this morning? Isn't our God awesome? Listen, we are continuing in our series. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? That's a question that the Lord posed to Jeremiah in the book of Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27. He said, Behold, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Listen, when you see the Holy Ghost, when you see the Lord pose a question like that, he wants to jog your memory. He wants to get you thinking. Just think about all of what the great things God has done. Opening the Red Sea, drowning Pharaoh and his army in it. March, Joshua those march around the walls of Jericho. When they shouted, Lord have mercy, the walls came tumbling down. And he's asking Jeremiah, is there anything? Thanks, girls. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? There is absolutely nothing too hard for the Lord. And we are talking about faith to conquer your storm in this series. Faith to conquer your storm. I want to take you into the book of Matthew chapter 14, verse 22. Verse 22 says, And immediately Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitudes away. This multitude was the wrong group of people. They just wanted to clamor and hang around Jesus because their bellies had just gotten filled with the loaves. Now, this is the same group of people where he fed the 5,000 men besides women and children. They only wanted to cling to Jesus because their bellies were filled. They did not want to cling to him because of the anointing, because of the power of God, because of the miracles, because people's lives were being changed, because the demons possessed was being set free by the power of God. The emotionally and internally distraught, those who have been wounded and bruised internally, their emotions as well, they were being healed in their spirit, in their soul, in their emotions, in their mind, and in their physical body. Are you listening to me? We serve a complete God. He, he, he deals with the whole man. But you see, this group of people was the wrong crowd. They wanted to take him by force and make him king, not because of his power, not because he was the son of God, but because their bellies were satisfied. You got to be careful of folk who are hanging around for the wrong reason. Are you listening to me? Now watch this. Verse 23 says, And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. Glory to God. Think about it. Jesus himself had to get alone to seek the face of the Father. Now, if Jesus had to find time to pray and seek God, what do you think about you and myself? There are moments we've got to get alone with God. My favorite time is bright and early in the morning before the day gets too busy. Bright and early. You just got to pay the price and get up. Get up. Three, four in the morning and spend an hour, two hours with the Lord. Get in the word. Renew your mind. Call on him. You need him. I'm telling you, you need him every day. The very time you don't seek God, that's the, op that's the time the devil will jump on you and your family and drive you mad almost. Are you listening to me? So the disciples obeyed the Lord. And now the Bible says in verse 24, but the ship was now in the midst of the sea Toss with the waves, for the wind was contrary. And I want to say this. Just because you obey the Lord, it doesn't mean it's going to be smooth sailing. The mere fact that you obeyed God is, is proof enough that the devil all hell is going to break loose against you. So in their obedience to the Lord, heading over to the other side, a storm. And now this storm didn't just come out of nowhere. This storm was demonic. This storm came from Satan himself. Because when you obey God, he will always challenge the word of God that's spoken to you to get you to question God like he did Adam and Eve in the garden. He will do everything in his power to get you to question the word of God and to doubt the word of God because he knows if he can get you to doubt the word of God, he's got you. Unbelief will consume you. You will give up on the promise of God. And if you let go of the word of God, it's over for you because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of the living God. 
the Bible says in Psalms chapter 119, the Bible says, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. His word is eternal. His word is 100% truth. And if you let go of that word, it's over for you. My God. What, what did Jesus say when the devil tempted him in the wilderness? It is written. You can't let that word go. Come on, saints. It is written. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So now the ship is being tossed. The apostles are being challenged. I love it. But listen to verse 25. The Bible says, and in the fourth watch of the night, that's morning time. That's 3 a.m. They say at night because it's still dark. But that was 3 a.m. in the morning. Jesus went unto them, not swimming. He went unto them walking on the water, walking on the sea. King Jesus, my God, I preached that message. You can look for it in our YouTube channel. The storm is under his feet. Glory to God. I don't care what you're facing. It's under his feet. He came walking on top of it to show them that I am. I am the son of the living God. The devil doesn't have a chance against the son of God. Are you listening to me? He's, he, he's showing us that he has power over nature. Come on. Power over storms, power over demons, power over sickness. I dare someone to lift your hands to heaven and say, power, 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 power. Glory to God. Now watch this. Now he's walking on the water, coming to rescue his fellas. Are you in trouble? Are you in a storm? Glory to God. Is all hell breaking loose in your life? Is, is the, has the enemy got you backed up in a corner? Ah, King Jesus is about to show up. I said he came walking to them at 3 a.m. in the morning, walking on the water, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Joy is not a thing. Joy is a person. His name is Jesus. He came to them walking on the water. Jesus is walking towards your house. He is walking towards your life. He's walking towards your trouble. He's walking towards your dilemma. Ah, he will show up in the nick of time. My God. The Bible says, and when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, it is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. Wait a minute. Weren't you crying for God to deliver you? Isn't that just like human nature? One minute you're asking God to deliver you, and now he showed up in a way you didn't expect, and it's got you freaked out, and now you're going from one extreme to the next. Now you're saying, this looks like a ghost. Ah, this ain't no ghost. This ain't no devil. This is your God. This is King Jesus. His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Everlasting Father, the Mighty God the prince of peace this is your king this is your savior this is your deliverer this is the lamb of god which takes away the sins of the world this is your healer this is your provider this is your breakthrough man his name is jesus he showed up in the midst of their trouble like he did for shadrach meshach and abednego for shadrach meshach and abednego he showed up in the fire but for the disciples in the storm, he showed up in their storm. What trouble is it that you are facing this morning? The Lord is showing up in your situation right now. Oh, glory to God. <laughs> I feel this this morning. My God. But immediately, but straightway, Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. This is Jesus. Oh, yes, this is Jesus. My God, my God. You know, they used to sing a song, yes, it is Jesus, it is Jesus in my soul, for I have touched the hem of his garments, and his blood has made me whole. We're going to learn that song and sing it to you. I love that song. My God, yes, it is Jesus. I dare someone to lift your hands to heaven and say, yes, it is Jesus. This is Jesus. Type below this video. This is my Jesus. This is my Jesus. Glory to God. My God, my God. He said, be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. He's saying to you this morning, be encouraged. So be of good cheer means be encouraged. Be strengthened. Be encouraged this morning. Jesus is showing up. He has never left you nor forsaken you. He is showing up in your problem. And Peter, Lord have mercy. 
And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, if this is you, bid me to come unto thee on the water. I ought to tell him, <laughs> let me walk to you on midair. Come on, somebody. Uh, but you know, when faith kick in, you got to go with your faith. And Peter went with his faith. Peter said, Lord, if this is really you, command me, bid me to come to you on the water. And he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Who is it that the Lord's given power over their storm right now? He has given you power. He has given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and absolutely nothing shall by any means hurt you. But that power is no good to you if you don't use it. You got to step out the boat. Glory to God. Are you listening to me? He said, come and Peter, jump out of the boat and begin to walk on the water. In a flash, the tables had turned. Everything, the, the momentum had shifted. The, the, the storm that was against them was now under Peter's feet. Peter himself was dominating in the midst. And the storm wasn't calm yet. Jesus never calmed the storm in this, in this, in this passage of Scripture. Peter is dominating, walking on the water, walking on top of his storm. Now the storm is under your feet. One prayer. If this is you, give me the power to come walk on that water. I dare someone lift your hands to heaven and say, let me walk on top of the spirit of poverty. Let me walk on top of cancer. Let me walk on the top of my dilemma. There's sickness in my body. Put it under my feet. Divorce, put it under my feet. Insanity, put it under my feet. Mental illness, put it under my feet. Emotionally distraught and traumatized, put it. Shamandala basaya. Oppression, depression, put it under my, let me walk on top of this thing, Lord. Glory to God. And he answered Peter's prayer. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried saying, Lord, save me. When you begin to dominate, all things are going to happen to shake you still because you're still a human being. You're not superhuman. The Holy Ghost lives in you, but you're still a human. And so when Peter saw the wind boisterous, it shook his faith for a minute. And he beginning to sink. He didn't go all the way down. He beginning to sink. Lord, save me. And Jesus reached his hands and grabbed him and pulled him back to the top of the water. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? I'd rather have a little faith and walk on top of water than to have no faith and do nothing. Come on, somebody. And when they were coming to the ship, the wind ceased. When the test was all over, when the devil saw he had no power over these fellas, nor the Christ himself, he fled. That's why the wind ceased. The devil was defeated. He fled. Glory to Jesus. You can tell when the devil's subdued. The war is over. The storm is over. The trauma is over. The trouble is over. That's how you know when he's defeated. My God. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying of a truth, Thou art the Son of God. And when they were gone over, they came into the land of Gennesaret. They made it to the other side. I can sense it. My God, can you sense it this morning? And I can sense it. Something's changed. Something's changing. The glory of the Lord is in this place, and I can sense it, I can sense it, something's changing. Somebody has just been healed right across their right shoulder. Someone has just been healed. Just lift your hands up and just begin to swing it around. I was about to pray and I will. The Holy Ghost have healed somebody in the right shoulder. Claim the miracle. Don't let it pass you by. If you know that's you that has that trouble, just grab a hold of it. The power of God's moving on you for that miracle. You just take it by faith. Begin to exercise that hand. Lift it all the way up over your head. Thank you, Jesus. That's a miracle. It's the power of God. We rebuke the devil in Jesus' name. We cover you in the blood of Jesus. We cover you in the blood. The Lord has given you faith this morning. 
faith to conquer your storm. He's given you faith this morning. We cover you in the blood of Jesus. We cover you in the blood. You are conquering that storm this morning through the power of the resurrected Christ and in the name of Jesus. You are conquering that storm for the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run therein and they are safe. You are conquering that thing this morning. You are conquering that thing this morning in the name of Jesus. So God, so God, make me your example. Make me a miracle. Come on. Are you going to be the miracle? So God, make me your example. Show us a miracle. Show us a miracle. And I'll be the miracle. God, make me your example. Make me a miracle. Make me a miracle. I'll be the miracle. And I'll be the miracle. God, make me your example. What a God, what a God, what a God we serve. We want to give you an opportunity to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is an honor to stand with the work of the Lord. It is a, it's the greatest privilege God has given to us is to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the most noble thing you can do on this earth is to get behind the life-changing message of Jesus Christ. He died and he rose again. You can visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry Zell account. The ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. The ministry cash app address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and a link will automatically be sent to you. You can also give by mailing your donations to the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pender Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. Never forget, me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy, we love you. We appreciate you. And we look forward to being with you again on tomorrow as we continue this wonderful series. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? God bless you. <laughs>